A female protester interrupted a French Open semi-final match when she ran onto the tennis court and tied herself to the net. The clash between Norway's Kasparud and Marin Cilic of Croatian on court Philippe Chotrier was stopped for a brief period after the woman made her way onto the clay surface. It happened part way through the third set, with the match tied at one set each. Play was suspended when the woman, wearing a white t-shirt sporting a written message which appeared to have been drawn in black ink, invaded the playing surface. After a few moments both players were taken off the court. After a short delay, the woman was removed from the net. Photos of the incident show her then being carried away by several officials wearing suits as she lays prone in their arms. Dernier Innovation, a group made up of French activists, said it was responsible for the interruption of the match. Explaining the motive for the interruption of the match in a Twitter post, the organization said it was attempting to draw attention to the climate emergency. The woman who entered the court, who Dernier Renovation claimed was a 22-year-old woman named Alize, wore a t-shirt which read, We have 1,028 days left. While the players were away from the court, officials took their time to carefully untie the woman from the net before she was carried away. After a delay of around 10 minutes, the players returned so the match could resume. Tim Henman, in his role as a commentator covering the match, described the really shocking scenes to viewers. She jumped on the court, sat down next to the net and seems like she's attached herself to the net and obviously had something written on her shirt, said the retired former British number one. He went on to suggest that the incident might have had an effect on Rude and Chilich as their rhythms had been disrupted by the stoppage in play. Henman added, it's very horrible circumstances for the players. It's obviously one of their biggest matches and now you've got an interruption midway through this third set. The players have rightly been taken off the court but it wasn't as if they picked up their bags, I think they were just taken away. It's up to the security to get things under control. But it's not what you're expecting. We were so shocked to see this Zverev situation and having to retire from such a big match with such a horrific injury and now we get on to the second match and were midway through in the third set. It's all very unsettling for everyone. Rude certainly didn't appear too phased by the situation, as he dominated much of that third set to win it 6-2 and take the lead in the overall match. He also broke Chilich early in the fourth set to stamp his authority on his first ever Grand Slam semi-final, and went on to win the match. Tournament chief Slater said the protester, who had a valid ticket, had been handed over to the police. A French Tennis Federation statement read, at 9.12 p.m., an environmental activist managed to get onto Philippe Chotrier court and attached herself to the net with metal wires and glue. The security team needed to formally identify the objects she used to get onto the court before they could remove her. The players were escorted to the changing rooms. The score was 3-6, 6-4, 4-1 to Kasparud against Marin Cilic. Play was suspended for 13 minutes, and resumed at 9.25 p.m. The young woman, of French nationality, entered the grounds with a valid ticket early in the day. She was then handed over to the police, 